Welcome back, guys. We are live once again here at the PlayStation Exhibit Hall, and I'm with Lauren Lanning and Stuart Gilray of Oddworld. All right, guys. Now, in 2005, you guys kind of disappeared for a while, and slowly but surely, we've been seeing little bits and pieces come back. But this, new and tasty, is like the biggest thing yet. So talk to me about how that journey went for you. Well, thanks. And uh, it was, it's been quite a journey, you know. And uh, over the years, we had a lot of decisions. We had some successes. We had some a lot of hard learning pain <laughs> points. And what we've been doing since is like slowly building back up that brand, its presence on the digital distributed world. It's amazing to be here today because we never we never thought the little game that we're building today, which is actually our biggest bet, but it's yeah. little and compared to what's going on here, <laughs> we never thought we'd actually be invited to, to you know be with Sony. And we were here on the original PlayStation, and that's where this game began. Mm -hmm. And to be here with the remake of it on the PS4 is like, you got to be kidding us. That's amazing. Now talk to our, our fans at home about what they're seeing right yeah. here. This is now running okay. on the PS4? Yeah. So this is running on the PS4. Yeah. This is um, the first level of the game. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, it's kind of harks back to the original game it was in, in 97. Um, we kind of remade it as close as we could do so the fans instantly recognize it. But at the same time, they see all the enhancements and all the changes and stuff. You know, full 3D now, no flip screen, scrolling, you know, real-time lighting, real-time 3D, the works. And it's, Fantastic, looks great. Now, was, what was the reasoning behind going from the flip screen to the scrolling? Well, originally, if you remember, PS1 was it was it was so early in 3D that it was hard to distinguish yourself graphically. So we made this decision to pre-render out of 3D all of our screens so they were bitmaps, they were more like paintings. And so we got this rich 3D look, but it wasn't really 3D. <laughs> and so what we had to do is we had to flip the screens. You know, it was like flipping an animation book. And then with the new technology, even this is a retro, you know, we call it nostalgia licious. Yeah, <laughs> I like that, nostalgia licious. <laughs> but it's a retro style of gameplay, and we found that a lot of people were asking us, like, build more of this. Yeah. And so we went back with the new technology, but we wanted to keep the same integrity of that first experience. But now it's not, you know, not flipbook. It's mm -hmm. smooth, it's flowing. We wanted to really polish it up into something that gave homage to that genre yeah. that largely, you know, it's coming back like on, on smaller devices, mobile and stuff, mm -hmm. but uh, this was a chance for us to sort of redo something that, that launched us. And it's a great way to say, hey, we're coming back and, and now hopefully with the success of these, we'll be able to build better things because we're really on our own today. You know? That's we're amazing. Paying for it ourselves. So here now we with, the, with the remake, there's some new twists and turns in the story and with, with Oddworld. Can you talk about a little bit of those? No spoiler alerts, we promise. No, no spoiler alerts. <laughs> we, we, we wanted to keep it as close to the original game as possible, and that's what we have done. But because of the changes, like going from flip screen to scrolling, there are some things we've had to have changed design-wise. So it's true to say we're as, as hard as the original game was in terms of difficulty, we're as gory as the original game was in, in nice. terms of look. But some of those puzzles have to change a little bit. For example, some of the original characters, if you want to reset them, you just went off screen and came back again. Now, you have to stand still, be quiet, and then they go back to sleep or go away and do something else instead. They time out, you know? And yep. those kind of changes and updates to the gameplay. Still the same game, but just enhancements and additions. And what we looked at was we were like, okay, in that beginning, we were largely like moving on paintings. Mm -hmm. But here we had a chance to take that whole 3D world and make it alive, you know? So all the wow. meat is moving through the world, all those things. And the other thing was, this was really about trying to create an emotional experience where you cared about that character. So in this opportunity, what we're doing is we're saying, everywhere where we can just milk the emotional enhancement, how do we dial that up to 11? How do we stay true to what this was and then just make it something, you know, nostalgialistic on, yeah. top, of that, <laughs> on top of that old, that old paradigm? And, and really, so we're going more for that the richness of the world and the emotionality of the yeah. experience. And then we're trying to fix all the problems we had in the yeah. first one, yeah. make, it, make it more accessible, make it more fun, but really stay true to it and, yeah. and really see what happens. Awesome. Now, how did the power of the PS4 with this brand new console coming out help with the game? It, the nice thing about the PS4 is, is because it's pure power, we can run the game now at you know, 1080p HD and six frames a second, you know, something we wouldn't have dreamed of a, a year ago, never mind two years ago. So it kind of it, it amps up the immersiveness to it all. Just makes it look so nice and sexy yeah. around the edges, and it's, it's great. But here's the beauty. Here's the beauty because, you know, PlayStation One, we were there almost in the beginning. Two, three, four, Xbox, all this stuff, right? Been there, seen them. We have never seen a development environment yeah. that is so friendly to to two developers who know what they're doing. So it's like, and it was built by, you know, I just saw you were interviewing Mark Cerny, right? Mark Cerny knows game development as good as anyone in this building today. And that he designed it, what it did is allowing people like us to get up and running yeah. quality, not just quicker, faking, faster, yes. cheaper, and better. 
yeah. and it's like, wow, where has this been? So yeah, and, and the gamers are the ones that wind up benefiting. Yeah. I mean, we've yeah, seen all right. week long all these indie developers that Sony is like welcoming with open yeah. arms when they had yeah. like nine of them that released this weekend. That's right. You know, whether it's it's, it's retro or it's brand new, it's, yeah. it's really great to see all the little guys like getting help to come up to the top. And that's a change. That's a total game change, yeah. right? You know, last hardware generation, those been, we've never seen that before. And Sony kind of has blown our mind that they're they're embracing that. And we, we find that really wise and incredible and incredibly insightful yeah. and very valuable. We yeah. think that's going to, you know, the fact is these the little games, those people that were on the nine games or the, the, the little indie games, in 10 years from now, the biggest banners out in front of that show, they're going to come out of that community. Yeah. I guarantee you, yeah. I guarantee you, I go on the line, I'd say it now, it's going to come out of here. I'm not saying it's us. <laughs> it's going to be somebody, but the experimentation, the ease of use of the depth station, that's where the innovation is going to happen. Someone's going to strike some chords with the gaming audience. Yeah. And what that's going to do is there's going to be the big IPs in the future. And Sony's smart enough to see that. And that's really, what, that's, yeah. you know, that's, that's smart. Right. All right, now I was not, you know, lucky enough to play the original. So as someone. Yeah, because you probably weren't born yet. Right. right? <laughs> <laughs> For someone who never got to play the original, what would you tell them about why to come out and play the game now? You know, I always say the same thing, which is, Today, it's the internet, it's very easy. Go see what the fans say. They speak to it better than we do. You can feel what the truth, yeah. we're not paying them. They have a certain uh, angle, yeah. they have a certain look, they have a certain passion, they've stayed with us, they haven't abandoned us. See what they say, see if you agree. There you go, talk to the experts, the fans yeah. themselves. Yeah. There was a huge, huge round of applause when they announced it at the yeah. press conference. You could tell some diehards were like, yeah! Oh, yeah. I wanted to cry. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was backstage watching the show, and our account manager came running up to us and said, did you hear that, you know? Yeah. And I was, I was like this, it's like yeah. shaking, it's like, what? It's amazing. Crazy, insane, it's great. It was, you know, so we haven't been in the limelight in a long time. To see that was like, wow, I, I guess it was a validator that we're in the right place yeah. at the right time, we're doing the, the right thing, thing. Yeah. the people are supporting it, that the crowd did that was totally unexpected. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, what, what we, I would just kept from crying. Yeah. So now you guys have been to quite a few E3s. Was this E3 particularly special for you? This E3, yeah. you say your piece, I'll say I mine. Mean, well, this is my first E3, but I've watched it from the UK yeah. for the past you know, X years. Um, just to see the response to everything that's going on this year, and the fact that Sony just suddenly went, oh, yeah. right at the top, was like, what? As a you know, lifelong Sony fan, this is, to me personally, it's fantastic on that level. Yeah. To be working on this with you guys directly, it's, it's even fantastic. Yeah. Great. Well, that's what it's like. This show, I mean, never before we've not seen a few things. We've never seen such a slam dunk winner before the show even started. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Right? And it's just, we've never been here the whole time, been to everyone all through the years. And we're now seeing this actually to the point of indie, it's becoming more important. It's becoming a more resonating yeah. theme. Yeah. The, the small, the buyers, the game buyers, the people out there ga playing games, they understand that the indie community is going to bring them something different, mm -hmm. something unique. It's not going to be a hundred million dollar product. Yeah. It probably might be a half million dollar incredible weird product. Yeah. You know? Did you see Octoman? It's like, what oh, is the that? Octo yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that guy. Like, oh, wobbly. I can't wait to play. Yeah. It's like I've never it seen anything cool. like that in my life, you know? So it's it's probably, for me, it's probably the most exciting E3 I've been to. All right. Well, it's been an honor to meet you guys. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at the trailer. All right. This is Rupture Farms. They say it's the biggest meat processing plant on Oddworld. That's me. My name is Abe. I used to work here. Well, I was really a slave like all the others. Then I learned they were gonna turn us into lunch. That's when I knew I had to escape. So, get me out of here!
Howdy. Hey there, Abe. How you doing? Okay. <laughs>